pandemic designating March, May 4th, 2024 as International Firefighters Day. Whereas International Firefighters Day is a commemorative occasion observed annually on May 4th. Whereas the primary purpose of International Firefighters Day is to honor and commemorate past firefighters who have made the ultimate sacrifice, laying down their lives while bra bravely serving their communities. Whereas this day also serves as an opportunity to express deep gratitude and appreciation to all individuals who have dedicated themselves to the noble profession of firefighting, risking their li fi firefighting, risking their lives to ensure the safety and well-being of others. Whereas International Firefighters Day provides a platform to demonstrate unwavering support and appreciation for the courageous men and women who continue to serve as firefighters displaying selfishness, selfishness, bravery, and dedication to in the face of danger. Whereas the observance of International Firefighters Day fosters a sense of unity, camaraderie, and respect among communities worldwide, worldwide acknowledging the invaluable contrib contributions and sacrifices made by firefighters in safeguarding lives, property, and the environment. Therefore, let it be proclaimed that May 4th shall be recognized and honored as International Firefighters Day, a day dedicated to honoring the memory of fallen firefighters, expressing gratitude to all who served, and demonstrating unwavering support for those who continue to serve on the front lines of firefighting. Thank you. The next one is the public recognition of Firefighter Award Ceremony. <laughs> Uh, the Hampshire Firefighters recently held its annual award ceremony. So where our firefighters are recognized for actions that went above and beyond their normal duties as firefighters. The actions of these firefighters resulted in the rescuing of four fire victims from structure fires. Overall, there were eight life-saving awards and ten unit citations awarded. Uh, as I read their names, I'd like these gentlemen to step in the room behind me or stand up. Come line up here. Uh, Captain Mike Crandall was awarded a unit citation. Captain Mike Wagenschutz was awarded a unit citation. Lieutenant Andrew Lekshak was awarded a unit citation and a life-saving award. Motor Engineer Corsi was awarded a life-saving award. Motor Engineer Mancina was awarded a unit citation and a life-saving award. Motor Engineer Jason Abbey was awarded a unit citation. Firefighter Mark, Mark Motel was awarded a unit citation. Firefighter Chris Monge was awarded a unit citation. Firefighter Chad Kirsten was awarded two unit citations and a life-saving award. Firefighter John Krajewski was awarded a life-saving award. Firefighter Brooke Bolter was awarded a life-saving award. Firefighter Nathan Sharam was awarded a unit citation and a life-saving award. And probationary firefighter Justin Emery was awarded a life-saving award. We thank these firefighters for going above and beyond. Gentlemen, care to take a picture with the guys? Yeah. Yeah. They're going to come around. Good. Yeah. All right. Already in the center, gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, what, what camera are we looking at first? <laughs> oh, Matt, yeah, that's <laughs> the last Councilman. Oh, no, come on right in here, Councilman. It's, it's can good. It, can this see your face? All right, everybody look at Max. Say cheese. Cheese or Chiefs? Say fire. Chiefs. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> fire Chiefs. Right, I got some good ones tonight. All right. All set. Can we all take one? Yeah, we'll give you one more. One more. Thank you. 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 Thank you.